really nice. Maybe using character level styling would also be nice. Simpler for this. Not sure though. Good job regardless. In my previous video, I created this animation effect and received that comment. So today we're going to try using character level styling in our text plus node to see if we can simplify our workflow and still get an awesome effect. Let's dive in and see if it works. First, drag your text plus node into the Fusion workspace, type your text, and change the font to whatever you prefer. Next, right-click on the text plus node and choose character level styling. Then click on the modifiers button. Now let's focus on the individual characters. With the text plus node selected, choose all the letters except the last one. Then switch over to the shading tab and set the value of opacity to zero for those selected characters. Next, select the last letter of your text. Go to frame zero. Then head to the text tab where you'll find the animate character options. Create a keyframe here and then reduce the size value to make this letter very small. Now, switch to the Transform tab and adjust the offset position so that this last letter moves into the center of the screen. Set the Rotation Z value to 180 degrees. Then, return to the Text tab and change the size value to zero. At the one second mark, increase the size value so the letter becomes visible again. And go back to the Transform tab to fine-tune its position so it stays centered. Now, change the rotation Z value to 90 degrees and adjust the position if needed. One second later, animate the letter again by setting rotation back to 0 degrees and resetting the position to 0. And finally, set size back to original size. This creates the basic animation for the last letter. Don't worry about the speed just yet, we'll smooth it out soon. Next, let's adjust the other letters. Select all letters except the last one and switch to the shading tab. At the two second mark, set the opacity value to one. Then, move to the one second mark, switch to the transformer tab and adjust the position to stays right. At two seconds, move the position value and then return it to zero to be sure to add a keyframe at that moment. Do the same for the opacity parameter at one second. Now, open the spline editor to check the graph for your styled text plus node. Select all the keyframes, Control A, and press F to smooth them out. Then, go to the Ease tab and increase the easing value for smoother transitions. This will give your animation a much more polished feel. Let's add a cinematic touch now. With your text plus node still selected, navigate to the tool section. At the two second mark, create a keyframe for the tracking parameter. Then, move a few frames ahead and increase the tracking value. Open the spline editor once again to smooth out this change, ensuring that the adjustment flows naturally. Finally, let's add some motion blur to enhance the dynamic feel. Go to the settings under the tool section, enable motion blur, and adjust the value until you're happy with the result. In my opinion, this method offers much faster results compared to my previous approach. However, my previous approach, it gives you full control over the position, rotation, and size speeds directly in the spline editor, rather than placing all keyframes together and adjusting the curve once, which often doesn't work as well. And that's it. I'll leave a copy of this text plus node setup in the comment section for you to download if you'd like to try it Thanks out. Thanks for following along. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe for more creative tips. Happy editing, and see you in the next video.